thank you guys for hanging on there. We got a little internet drop, which doesn't happen very often, but I mean, I am at a new house, so that makes sense. Sometimes it happens. All right, I'm going to duplicate the teeth, and I'm going to mirror them. Not in the X, but upside down. So let's try that. Oh, actually, it's kind of, okay, low key. I kind of like them not mirrored. Let's see. He just looks a little. He's got those chompers, you know. Let's see what it looks mirrored. <laughs> I'm gonna go to deformation, mirror, but I'm gonna do it. I never know if I should do it on the Y. Yeah. Yeah, the Y in this case was right. I just guess. It's either the Y or the Z, you know. I'm gonna fit these little teeth here, make them bigger if I need to. I kind of had liked them with a little bit of a, um, with a little bit of a curve like this instead. Let's pinch the top of these. Sharpen it up like that. I think these actually need to be bigger, right? So let's go ahead and auto group again. Polygroups, auto groups, and then we're gonna just mirror again, yet again. We'll worry about the rest of the teeth in a little bit. I miss I is everything Dynamesh? So um, I am using Dynamesh, but not everything. Like, I, I don't know what you mean by everything, but basically, um, the different subtools are Dynamesh, but they're not Dynamesh together, if that makes sense. Alright guys, looks like the blocking out of the head is practically, <laughs> it's, it's done-ish. So I'm going to just screenshot this up here so that newcomers can see what we've been working on. And then we're going to try to work on the body. Here's my vision for the body. So I'm going to make a, like a cylindrical body. It's going to be very long. I'm going to use a IMM curve brush. So we're going to try to put together the curve brush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by using a cylinder as my base, like so. Okay, we're going to just for now use a bunch of separate meshes. Um, are there any IMMs for like dragon parts? I wonder. I think there are for sure. Like I just need to grab a few to try something out. So. I'll make my own scales in a bit. I just want to make sure that I can come in here and find those IMM things. I think I just saw it here. Insert IMM, dragon bones. I don't think dragon bones will get the job done. Let's see. There's a lot of dragon bones in here. Okay, not quite. All right, let's just make one real quick. <laughs> I'm going to append a sphere as usual. It's a good place to start in my opinion. Um, I'm going to solo that out and I'm going to shape it into somewhat a, of a scale shape. Uh, I'm going to make my scales pointy because I think they'll be really cool if they print out pointy. I'm going to taper it out. Not too much. I'm going to also accept, squish it down. Also not too much. We want it to be nice and thick so that 
Um, they don't end up creating empty holes underneath themselves. I'm gonna take a little damn sander over the top of the scale and just kind of draw a line there. Maybe straighten this out again <laughs> to some degree. Like that. Maybe a little bent curve. Make sure that the, the part that goes into the skin is taller than the part that goes out. Like that. And let's see, I'm gonna control drag it down. I just wanna make sure that they overlap nicely. They do not. <laughs> so let's try again. I'm gonna just, with my bend curve, make it even more dramatic. a little bit better like that again this is not the final one this is just what I'm gonna be using to try this thing out all right let's um, I'm trying to think of a smart way to apply these to the cylinder we could just go for the IMM route we could also hmm the nanite route we could go so many routes <laughs> love the head thank you john buenas noches hey carolina i'm using the zbrush but <laughs> i thought i played a stream while working a project <laughs> well welcome that's totally okay by me I'm just kind of creating like a little bit of um, a little bit of skin here. Hopefully this like tiles okay. Like it does look a little triangular maybe. But for now, like I said, it gets the job done. I think I'm gonna like literally try to see what I can do with um. Where the hell is my cylinder? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's make that a little smaller. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put it on the cylinder maybe with a deformer or something. There's probably a deformer to make something cylindrical. But if there isn't, we'll just use the bend curve. In a different direction. So the colorful one lets you change the directions of the bend curve. So like if it's green, it becomes bent on the Y, you know. Kind of like that. Let's accept that. Make it a little smaller. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and try to get it on the other side. It's clearly not a perfect curve either. But again, this is just a little test for us. Let's see what would happen if I um, duplicate this move it upwards I kind of want to get to make sure whoops I want to make sure that the belly stays with the scales so let's go ahead and try um, making the scales a little smaller and I want to make them like that I, I'm not sure if this is gonna work I'm going to try to make this into an IMM brush um, create create insert mesh new so I can now create, and I totally forgot to include the cylinder. Let's go ahead and merge both. <laughs> and now I can create, insert mesh. I'm gonna append it to the same one. Okay, so we're gonna build our, our thing like Legos. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the curve mode. So go to stroke, curve mode, and let's see what happens if I break, oh, I put them sideways. 
let's let's make it again but from the front create insert mesh append okay it might be a really good idea to decimate this before the final round of course you see how slow it is going that's a lot better but i want to make sure that there's no gaps between them you know so i think the options for that are here by the way i do not remember everything right now so we're gonna learn together i think the first option is under modifiers and we can hit um stretch let's see you can just click on the curve again and yeah it will stretch a little bit that's good that's good i don't want to do weld points because there's no points to weld and i think i can change the the gap between them up here under stroke curve step i can maybe turn that down oh okay that's not the right option <laughs> uh overlap maybe okay that's getting us somewhere that's getting us somewhere let's try a little bit more overlap okay already looking better but we're overlapping a little too much see that it's kind of messing up one layer of scales at a time so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the curve resolution up as well so that the actual bend of the curve ah! <laughs> no <laughs> no I hope it saves also in real trying to save here it's one of those things like I just want to go to bed so if it's not saved we're gonna go to bed tonight <laughs> take the scenic route Well, if it doesn't save, then we can just do it again together. And we're this time we'll dynamesh it, like I said we should. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's a recovered document, not, not quite very useful. Okay, we have this recovered tool. Unfortunately, we don't have a recovered brush. Let me save this out, though. Okay, now let me open up the dragon head because I want to make sure that I save that as well. You guys can tell I was working on some bricks here at some point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if this. Oh no, actually, cancel that. I think the latest on the dragon might not have the bottom teeth on there. That's okay. I think that's the only thing missing. Take two. Load that tool that I just saved. And we're gonna make it again. We're gonna make sure to split this off, split unmasked points. Get that little cylinder going, delete this thing. It's really high poly. And um, let's take off this curve thing that's here. You just click anywhere with a curve brush and that'll go away. Question is, how long will it take to decimate? Let's see. Um, Z plugin decimation master so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-process the current what that's gonna do decimation master it's, it basically creates triangles like it, it triangulates the mesh and it makes it lower poly but it also tries to keep the details which is really nice um, and then let's go ahead and decimate current um yeah <laughs> Uh, end curve resolution and modifiers. The bug was for the resolution curve and stroke menu. Uh, what does that mean? Like, I don't understand necessarily. Like, can you explain, like, what should I do this time? That's the real question. What must I do? All right, let's grab, make, create a new brush again. Like so, like that. Perfect. Then we're going to go to stroke curve curve mode. Um... We're going to drag that out. Fingers crossed. Is it still too high poly? Oh, I, no, I just made it too huge. Okay, like so. That was a lot faster, right? We can agree. 
que da hora, vai ser como aqueles brinquedos que não precisam de suporte. Vai ser uma estatuazinha, uma, uma, uma figurine, e vai ter suporte. Ah, mas eu sei qual que você tá falando, aquele dragãozinho que faz... Eu sei. Then we went to curve, no, we went to modifiers, and we turned on stretch and overlap, and we overlapped it a little bit. Didn't quite turn out so good. And then I want to turn curve resolution up. Let's quick save. <laughs> Perhaps we start with three. Oh my god, it's perfect! Save, 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 save right now! Save this brush! <laughs> you called this one Dragon Body Test. Because we still don't have the belly, like the, the belly scales, you know? How do you guys think this is gonna 3D print? Oh, it looks like also the decimation made it very inflexible at the bottom here, so we'll make sure to not have that happen. <sighs> so happy. Turned out perfection. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm sold. Nice. So we did stretch, a little bit of overlap, and curve resolution. Two, three, and boom. We did something pretty neat today, if I do say so myself. But we're not done, right? That was the test version. So we're going to continue to test. Um, split on last points. We're going to keep working on this part here. So I'm going to just like screenshot this one. Um, so people, new people can see what the hell we're working on here. And then we got to add the little belly scales, right? Work to resolution of the curve in modifiers, res options, resolution of the curve in stroke is too buggy. Oh, I see, I see, I get it. Thank you so much for, uh, for reiterating for me. How do you measure the size of the dragon model for the bourbon real bottle? So, <laughs> here's my plan. I'm going to measure the bottle carefully. I'm going to use those, like, you know those things that, like, clamp, and then it tells you how, how big it something is? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it a design that doesn't hug the bottle too closely, so there's a little bit of room for error. I'm gonna make the bottle in a software, in any software that uses measurements, a little bit more, uh, like a little bit precisely. I think that's my plan. Okay, so this thing is already decimated. I think I'm gonna undo the decimation a little bit. Let me duplicate it first. It's just for good luck. I'm gonna keep a decimated version. Um. All right, and now we're gonna make the belly scales, which will be kind of like the same process. I think I'm just gonna use a cylinder though. So I'm gonna append a cylinder 3D. Go to it, look. Then I'm gonna make it smaller. But also a little wider. No, not wider. <laughs> Otherwise it'll go through the scales a little too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and like, I'm literally just gonna rotate the whole thing so it kind of like faces forward a little bit better, you know? Then this one is gonna get divided up a little bit kind of make it softer and I'm going to use a deformer I think I'm just gonna use a normal deformer this time and just grab the front part <laughs> of it and just yank it down get it like to curve down a little bit like this Oh my god. 
so hard to grab. A little bit of inflate. And then we gotta make sure that the bottom part would overlap over the top, just like before. So I'm gonna like do, I'm gonna keep this imperfect, you know, but not too much because I also want there to be enough variety like left over for me to be able to sculpt on this later. And I'm gonna get rid of like the, the parts that don't show up. Let's try um, delete hidden and then close holes. And then I'm going to control drag down like that. And that will be kind of like how we set up the belly scales. However, that being said, the way it's mixing into the scale, the current scales looks horrific. So we will try our best to kind of update that a little bit. I like the way this side does it. You know what? I'm going to try to mirror and weld this thing, but I'm gonna mirror first so that this side gets mirrored to that side. I'm just trying to hide all this little messy bits. I like to move pretty fast when I'm working on this kind of thing. Like that. And then um, if I duplicate the whole thing, will it overlap properly? I think so. Which is good. Now I just got to kind of get rid of this like little bumpiness right here that's kind of bringing my eye to that area maybe a little too much. Now let's try to merge everything again. Merge down. Okay. Now let's decimate this thing. Plug in pre-process current. Might just take a little second. How long does it take you to finish a model like that? Well, I was hoping it would take me like five hours to make this one. Because I, I'm literally out of time for this project you know but but I don't know yet he saw it's not half a so like I'll keep on to the so now it's decimated as you can tell like I'm moving I'm trying to move really fast when I'm making brushes I literally like like just try it try it try it try it because otherwise I'll spend forever detailing something that I don't even like in the end Is it decimated? Yes. Let's try it. Let's go ahead and select that brush. Create insert mesh, append it to here. Okay, it doesn't work quite as well with this new stuff, which is okay because we actually changed the length of the cylinder a little bit. So let's take a little look at what has changed. So modifiers, stretch. A little bit of overlap and then curve resolution to three is what we had done does the overlap look okay I think we needed just a little bit more overlap you guys see this little hole there oh gosh oh lord now it's too much overlap that's the only boring part of this process is like figuring out little numbers, you know? OK, 
okay, I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna take a screenshot. <laughs> you know, I, if you forget the number to look good, a little screenshot goes a long way. And then let's save the brush. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't look quite right yet. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of a double belly situation here. And also we get to delete the cylinder from inside as well. Oh wait, no, this isn't the right one. This is the right one, let's see. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> let's let's save it. <laughs> so the idea is you know, I'll have this little guy, there will be like a bottle of bourbon, and let's append like a cylinder or something, just pretend. There's the, the body of the bottle and then like the uh, top. <laughs> Perfect. This is perfection, if you ask me. And then his head will be like above, like above the, the main area, like he's protecting it, you know? And then there will be a little bit of a um, body that comes here. It does, it did attach backwards a little bit, but. And then I would like conform it, you know? And then I can also change the stroke type. So, so if I go to stroke and I change modifiers and size and I make it like kind of small, let me reset this already. Small-ish around the neck, big around the body and then like the tail is nice and skinny. And I do this, something like that. Now I just gotta work on the, on the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> work on the rotation, that's what I'm trying to think about. I wonder if there's like a way to do it on the brush settings or if I have to um, do it somewhere else. If not, I can always just make a new one from like a different angle, you know? Like I go back to here. Take off this extra tails here. And instead of doing it from this angle, I can do it from this angle. Create insert mesh. I'm gonna have to set up the options again, I think. So the, the perfect size was, this is why I do screenshots, 12.8 so 0 0.128 and then curve resolution to 3 come back here hit that curve with it oh yeah, it helps to select the new one what? slightly better. <laughs> max bend angle to the max will help you. Let's see. This is one of those things that might crash out. Let's see. Maybe a little more wobbly. It looks like I added two on accident. <laughs> okay, so I'm also gonna like quickly block out the floor. Which will just be like like a little base or something.
like that. I think what's kind of going to help me a lot with this particular process is creating kind of an extra base mesh, like, like, a, like a blob that will help me draw on his body. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so um, let me hide this and I'll just append a sphere or something. I think it has to be a sphere. Make that really big. And I'll just put it like right behind his head. And then that will help me kind of um, plan out how I want him. I always do this for my Ecker shoes as well. Like I just create these like fake shapes, you know, that help me set up my model. What's going on here? It's a little bit too big. Like that. And then I come in with the brush, right? And then I attach it to this and I just draw over over the top. Let me change the max draw angle here in my preferences so that it becomes a little bit bigger. Might be a little too big. If I change the depth of the brush, I think it will push it in a little bit for me. Like that will just like be more true to where I'm trying to put it. You know, and then I can just kind of come here. It's only kind of a little bit lame, but sometimes it goes inside, you know? And you kind of got to grab it and wiggle it into place. That base I made is a little too thick. <laughs> also, I think it needs to be lower poly. Look at how, look at how, um, kind of difficult it's being, you know? The best part about this is that I think each segment, since I didn't weld it, I can turn the segments into a cut for the 3D printer. We'll talk about that in a second, but it will be kind of cool. I'll just add a little bit more. This is not the final shape. I just kind of wanted to show you guys. I don't even know what the final shape will be. I have a bunch of sketches though. And of course it's gonna have to touch the ground at some point in order for it to actually like, you know, um, stand on something. And I was also thinking about putting some like branches and like flowers and stuff to hold it. I should have also locked the start. You see, we're all learning lessons that are very important right now. <laughs> He's eating an egg. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to take the cylinders out from inside as well. So lower poly. Oh, I just ruined my makeup. Lower poly. Um, take out the inside cylinder. Lock starts. And we had a few other notes. But like the thing about making brushes is that it's an iterative process. And you have to be ready to iterate a lot. I'm just gonna have a big bushy hair. <laughs> Kinda.
I'm also gonna have to add spines to to this thing. And it legs. This is kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway. And we're also going to have to make like cooler wiggles with it, you know? Way cooler wiggles. webcam is out of focus oh no thank you for letting me know i don't know how to fix that focus on me there. just in time for me to finish up the stream so today was not my most productive stream for sure but we got a little bit done i'm gonna work on it a little bit outside of stream but I might do something extra on my Discord or workshop. So if you're interested in finding out more, please go ahead and follow me on social media. Um, and what else? <laughs> um, come do my workshops with me. I, every Wednesday I teach a brand new workshop, like a totally different topic from like different kinds of anatomy and sculpture to... Uh, different techniques in ZBrush to your topology and all sorts of cool stuff like we made some really cool shoes We made like a treasure chest. We made a ton of characters animals you name it. So come join the workshop. It's super fun All right, I will see you all in the next one. I will um, <laughs> I'll see you soon guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole making the curve thing I'm gonna work on that make it pretty now Bye bye